So, welcome to the place. Um, I did the a couple of the videos talking about my testing of the Mark III, and they probably could have gone better. Um, I still think that I did an okay job at showing everything that I went through, um, but it probably did, couldn't have been taken quite as good as it probably should have been. Um, biggest thing is are the features working and are we testing them correctly so i wanted to kind of run through them again on a separate video to give just a better idea um, the most important features are the power off the uh, filament if we cut it does it detect that we run out does it do the layer skipping and there's also the uh, stealth normal mode starting with the stealth normal mode it's too hard to hear the difference um, I will say it's absolutely amazing the difference depending on the print. If you have a nice fast printing print but it's not making a bunch of really big moves you're gonna see it. It'll be a huge difference. It's like night and day. It's literally stealth, silent mode. Um, if you have something with a whole bunch of big moves you're gonna hear bearing noise, you're gonna see the the changes less but it is definitely there. There's no, no, absolutely no doubt about it. So there's that one. The other one, as you can see it's printing now, is the power off function. You've lost power. Plug it back in. It's recovering the print. And it'll go back through. You won't even know that it even happened. Now, I unplugged the cord. Don't hit the switch. They actually have it, so if you hit the switch, it'll shut it off instantly. Um, it's by design and it makes sense and it's the right thing. I had kind of stumbled with that. That's fact. I also hit a, a power brick switch. Most of the time it worked. One time it failed, but I still say that was a surge protector. It had nothing to do with it. It's just the way it loses the uh, power. Yanked from the wall, did the same thing. Everything worked flawlessly. Um, it's happened multiple times. Um, the big one, once this thing starts up again, another one that I showed before and it worked just fine is uh, the filament. Stay. Uh, we'll let that run out and it'll come up. None of these are even in my question, in my mind, on if they're going to work or not because they just simply do. Um, and while this is running out, uh, Let's talk a little bit about the other one that we're going to test next, which is going to be the um, collision detection. That was quick. So now it's asking me, press the knob if I want to unload it. I do. Popped it right out. Now it's saying, do you want to repeat the unload? No. Now it wants me to insert the filament. I don't know if you really need to do it at the angle or not, but I'm just kind of in the mode of doing it, so I do. Um, so you just kind of insert the filament, push the button, ooze some filament, let me get my, sorry for the close up, so it's basically oozing right now. Did it change correctly? Yes. And it'll continue on. Is the detection. Now the detection, or the collision detection, you want to be careful. It's detecting if it hits something and stops. Just like if it hits part of your print and stops. So don't do like I did on my last video. And if you push it, if you get your timing all whatever, and if it goes in the direction of travel, it's not going to know. So the best way to test this is you just grab the rod and let it hit your fingers. Um, two things. First off, make sure you let it hit you. And the second thing, you've got to be in regular mode. Don't be in stealth mode. Um, so, so there it, it saw the detection, the saw the skip. And now it's going back to what it's doing. No problem. Um, again, works Great. Just make sure you're testing it. It does what it's supposed to do. Um, and that's all the major ones. I mean, the bed's awesome. The whole print, all these prints you see here, how good you can, I mean, this 
was a 41 hour print. Um, all of these are toys that I'm putting for my grandson. This was a test print. Um, it's been pr printing nonstop. It's absolutely wonderful. The detection part. Real world, I was sitting here answering some uh, YouTube comments. Um, and literally while I was answering the comments, I heard that infamous bang of the head hitting the part. And I was printing at uh, 175, I think, percent speed, because I was just trying to print really fast. And it banged it. I looked over, and it was rehoming itself. It did it again about 10 minutes later. Um, and again, no shifts on any of the parts. Uh, I did slow it down a little bit, because for whatever reason, it was just going really fast. Um, I slowed it to 125, which I'm at 100 right now. But, uh, in fact, I'm going to boost that up to 125. I'm just printing some tracks for a, for a choo-choo train. So anywho, there we go. Power off, works great. Make sure you do it the right way. Filament detection, work great. Um, skip collision, works great. Again, just so everybody knows, originally I intentionally did not do any research. I wanted to see all this firsthand without going to the, the web and the forums, yada, yada, yada. Um, but I thought I made myself rather clear on the on the videos and my comments that I didn't think this was really a printer problem, but maybe it came off badly, so I wanted to make sure everybody was crystal clear. I'm definitely a fanboy. Those that aren't can be mad at me, don't care. Um, love the printer, love the features. Still wish for the stars that it would detect all movement of the head but you know whatever how many people bang that not too many people although I have because um, that's who I am um, so anyways there you go I, I don't know how long this is hopefully it's not too long I covered them all I think uh, hopefully I don't have to do yet another video on this um, but for the most part everything's working no issues whatsoever um, yeah hope this helps and uh Hopefully any miscommunications are going to be taken care of. I will not do another one. <laughs> Thanks much. Buy one. Enjoy it. The thing just prints. Literally just prints. Have a good day.